So there once lived a man who lived in a tree. And the man never thought about anything. And he never thought about anyone. The man just stared at leaves all day. The man stared at the sun going through the leaves. And he was completely at peace. And then one day, a chimpanzee came into the tree. And the chimpanzee said, Hello, mister. What are you doing living in the trees? And the man said, I love living in the trees. This is what I do. I just want to grow my beard and my long hair and look shabby and just stare at leaves all day. Chimpanzee said, oh no, you cannot do that, for I live in the trees. I am the tree liver. You are a man. You're supposed to live on the ground. You live amongst the grass. I, the chimpanzee, live amongst the leaves in the tree. Ah, uh, so the man said, well, I don't know. I do love my tree. So they sat down and they had coffee. They well, would make a tea. They sat down and they had tea on a branch of the tree. And the chimpanzee said, hmm, what shall we do about you? Maybe I shall get you a Jane, you know, like Tarzan and Jane. I will get you a woman. And maybe the woman will get you down from this tree. <laughs> So the man said, well, maybe, I don't know, you know. But I've never seen a woman. What is a woman? I've never seen one before. <laughs> so the chimpanzee said, they look like you, but they, you know, they're a little more slimmer. They have less hair than you do, you know. You have hair everywhere, mister. You have hair on your chest and hair all over your arms and your... Pretty disgusting looking, um, if I must say so myself. <laughs> so the man said, that wasn't a nice thing to say, Mr. Chimpanzee. What do you do? do why, why would you be mean like that? Chimpanzee said, that's what I do. I'm a chimpanzee. I can't help it. <laughs> so the man <laughs> said, okay. Now I know what I'm facing. I'm facing an evil chimpanzee. For I did not know chimpanzees were evil. And the chimpanzee said, well, I'm not really evil. I'm just a chimpanzee, you know. You know, if it wasn't for me, you know, uh, you know, uh, I don't really understand why chimpanzees are here. But if it wasn't for me, I'll make something up. You wouldn't have invented automobiles. It's like the first story ever. <laughs> so the man in the tree said, An automobile? What's an automobile? And the chimpanzee said, Dear Lord, man, do I have to teach you about everything? <laughs> and the man in the tree said, Maybe, perhaps you do, because I don't really know anything, because I've never been down from this tree before. I was born in this tree. My mother and father, they met in this tree, and they gave birth to me, and they raised me in this tree. And one day, when I was 18 years old, my father and my mother left the tree, and they went off on their own. And now I believe they probably live in another tree. Sub-Saharan Africa or something. I don't know. And the chimpanzee said, Ooh, that's interesting. Would you like to go find your parents? Maybe that would get you to leave this tree. And the man said, No, my parents, they were kind of, you know, they, they, they expected me to do all these things, like, you know, put on ties and put on fancy black shoes and... And, you know, that kind of thing. 
and I told my parents I was very happy with just looking at leaves. So they left in a bother. They were like, hmm, I don't know about him and his leaf looking. <laughs> right, I guess that's the end of the story, man. <laughs> the story's going nowhere. <laughs> Alright guys, have a great day. Peace out. Later. <laughs>